Wow, look at all these excess PJs. Oh, I just I don't want to open this closet. Literally, that used to all be in here. I want sunshine, I want rain, I want love. I want Today's gonna be a good day. I'm decluttering my entire house, and you're gonna watch me do it. <laughs> Sorry, the clouds are a little like weird but i have a humongous like hall closet that's just literally overflowing i'm gonna declutter my kids closet i'm gonna declutter my kitchen like every single cabinet and just like nooks and crannies in this house i'm preparing for the holiday season where we all just acquire a little bit more than intended it's also about to be winter here in missouri so we spend more time indoors and I want to make it as warm and inviting as possible. And that means just putting things in our house with intention and purpose. And things that aren't serving us, they gotta go. So thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm all about intentional living, living with purpose. We've got one life, you know? It's not wasted with just excess in so many areas of our life. So click the notification bell, little likey thumbs up button. You know what to do. Let's begin. My children's room easily one of my favorite rooms in the house just because honestly it's completely normal it's not like the pinteresty you know perfect at anything at all they got to pick things that they wanted to be in here and it's so beautifully curated with my kids i just love it but their clothing on the other hand it's just like overflowing in all of the drawers so i really need to declutter that everything else in here is so intentional but i'll show you around after i declutter Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you all night. We haven't talked in months. But that's all I find that the easiest way to do this is doing one kid at a time, putting every single item of that they own on the ground, separating it into like PJs, tops, bottoms, and then going from there. This will probably take me. 10 minutes all together. Clothing is always so easy. No, no, how's a mom? The roads are so empty, this is so damn calm. If we stick on the highway, we can drive all night long. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. This is kid number two, by the way. Honestly, this is just all of their PJs. We put them all in one drawer because we know whose is whose. Wow, this is a lot. Oh, cute little mask, an extension cord. I can declutter this. Something that I don't, oh, probably like a baby gate. Things you find, these things really come in handy. I know what I'm gonna do. It was in this drawer, I'm gonna put it in this one to separate their PJs. nostalgic for me but I have a sister who's about to have a baby boy so she'll be getting all of these. I'll be keeping my favorites though because I'm not done having babies. I'll just leave that there. Right, we've got the second one done. This is their PJ drawer. I never fold PJs. If you're a new mom, this is totally okay. <laughs> if you're a mom that disagrees, that's fine too. But PJs, nobody sees them. We just crumple them up in pairs. They're all together, it's organized, but not folded, okay. We've got his shirts, his jackets. Honestly, we don't even use the closet in here. It's all in here. My four-year-old has five pairs of pants, sweats, church play play and then he's in some today so back there is like summer stuff and that i don't know if it fits i'm gonna try it on okay this is the two-year-old side but 
top drawers they share. This is just undies, socks, diapers, hats. These are all of his shirts and tops. So he's probably got about five shirts, four sweaters, and that's all we really need. And then <laughs> Gunnar has so many pants, but he's also an incredibly messy child. So he probably has eight pairs of pants back there or ones, like I said, wants to grow in and then that's summer stuff. Here's all the stuff that I'm giving away to my sister or just to the local secondhand shop down the street. I show you guys their night light. Is that not the cutest little thing? Hello. Oh, I just, I don't wanna open this closet. I just know it's gonna be like a two hour task, knowing me. Alas, here we go. I don't think you can see the bottom. Let me show you what we're working with. Okay, right now there's just a little bit of everything in here. We've got like suitcases, coats, shoes, random boxes that we didn't know like where to put it from baseball season. It's a different life there than it is like at home during the off season. So everything we just don't know what to do with goes in here. And what I'm gonna do is just take everything out put it in the middle, set aside like my declutter stuff that I need to fit back in here. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. Cause if I keep stalling, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Cause I just, it's gonna be a long project, but let's go. look of what was actually in the closet. Here we are. And I'm still standing on top of stuff. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is separate everything into two groups. Something, things that we're keeping and things that we're giving away. After that, I'm gonna clean the closet, make sure everything's out of there, clean and organize, and then we'll start putting things back. that I'm grateful for while I'm doing this. It's nice being 5'3", while cleaning out a little closet. <laughs> Literally that used to all be in here. Wow. Time to declutter. These drawers hold things like random toys, arts and crafts, things like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of things that need to go and then reorganize. know this but my son my youngest had a clubbed foot and I just kept so many of his boots um, they're hard to get rid of actually you know what I have the smallest ones what I think I'm gonna do is donate these to families who are paying out of pocket I bet they'll use these <sighs> like light bulbs and work stuff business cards random And then we have one drawer for, that doesn't go in there, for wires. One drawer in the whole house. These all actually have a purpose. I remember decluttering this last year. Haven't touched it since, so that's good. suitcases I like them back here they're just out of the way and I still like I want to be able to walk in here Do -do -do. So that's good so far okay now I have some kids like toys big chunkier ones that I don't want in, I don't want them to be in the living room so I'm going to find a place for them in here as well like this this is like that cool jungle gym thing my kids will love this but it's so ugly and chunky maybe I could hang it up here I'm liking this Ah, here we go. 
I'm gonna put this basket of kids stuff in the back. Still reach these drawers, totally fine. This is a puzzle. Wow. This is the aftermath. Yes, we have our tree up already. No shame. woke up she's gonna keep going uh, it's day two I thought well first of all I was annoyed that I didn't get everything done in the first day it actually turned out to be good so that I can get back to the reality of decluttering your home it doesn't have to be this day-long marathon that us youtubers make it look like you're welcome to declutter over a entire week or if you can't do that because you're busy like I have two little ones running around all the time you can spread it out over a couple of weeks, you know, it doesn't have, you don't have to have this pressure on yourself. I just wanted to remind you of that before we continue decluttering today. It was a good lesson for me, but I'll show you what my closet looks like. We finished a lot of it. Okay, here's our pile of stuff that we're giving away so far. I told you I was gonna separate it into three piles. That's our giveaway pile, already threw out the trash stuff. All right, here she is. Hello, closet. So I reorganized all of our coats just to make them look diagonal. It just seems so much neater when I do it that way. My steamer and my vacuum, I wish there was a nicer spot for these, but I use them so often that I need them to be in a very practical place and it's just chunky, but they're gonna stay. Step stool that I use to get up there to my books. Looks a little messy, but honestly I wasn't tall enough, but everything up there is intentional, so. Trust me up there, we're good. And then in here, we've got my bin of kids toys like I told you we we're gonna do, suitcase. And then there's some suitcases under there as well. This is our big bag of toys for the baseball season and I just don't have another place so we're just gonna keep it there. Cardboard box that's holding some posters and stuff. Yeah, you guys know the drill. Just, we filled all the bins here. That's a box that's gonna be shipped out. Puzzle that needs to be put together and chess, we played it last night so it's just, so much more organized. I know it doesn't look amazing in there, but it's decluttered. Trust me, it's decluttered. Gosh, that's another great lesson that things don't have to look perfect in order for you to live minimally and intentionally. Just have to work with, you know, what you've got. Great lessons that we're learning. I'm even learning them, guys. So I'm glad you're here to go along with it. I've been wanting to declutter this cabinet for so long. The biggest things that I see in here that I want to start with are these big chunky water bottles and I wanted to show you guys why I can finally take all of our excess water bottles out because we have our epic water filter water bottles and these are literally the only ones that we use. Epic Water Filters also is the sponsor of this video which I'm really grateful for. These are products that our family uses every single day, if not every single hour of every day, because we're always drinking water. And it's really nice to just have clean water so easily accessible to us. Another cool fact about Epic Water Filters is that they have a lid with a filter connected called The Answer. It's on their website and you can fit it onto any hydro flasks, excess camelbacks or Nalgene's that you already have in your house, which makes it really, really easy on you to just buy a lid and have clean filtered water. So I love that about this company. They really are giving you epic solutions for your water bottles and changing to drinking tap water, but having it filtered so that it's clean. So. Um, I do have a code, Margaret Matheny, for 20% off. I wanted to do this in front of a tree to remind you guys that Christmas is coming up and this is what I will be giving people in my family. So there's an idea for you in case you needed one. Now I need to see how I have like, I have a keep cup and a random cup and one of these. It's because we have broken so many cups in the last couple years and I just don't want to get rid of them but I'm just gonna put them all together I'm gonna keep the mismatched ones and that's just what we're gonna do that's how we're gonna live our life right now okay things don't have to be perfect another lesson things don't have to be perfect in your house like you see it on Instagram you know let's normalize just 
normal kitchens and normal cups. Wow, see all of these things that like go to water bottles and Yetis? We don't even use those anymore, so these can go. My four-year-old's old pacifiers. Wow, so sweet. Keep finding those in my decluttering videos. Wow, I cannot believe how, s what? I have an extra shelf now. I'm so confused. We have a few plates in the dishwasher, but I think we have about five of these. We've broken a lot of them. Bowls, we have so many of these. I don't have another place to put them, so they're gonna stay here and we use them in place of all the plates that we've broken, so. Here I've got our teacups, coffee cups. We have a few in the dishwasher from this morning, and then all of our glasses. I actually kind of like how this looks, just it's organic, it's just use what you've got. Kind of digging that. Really grateful that we even have nice glass cups and we don't have to drink from cheap plastic water bottles. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is the appliance cabinet. I don't use so much of this, slash we were just away for eight months for the baseball season and I never even thought about this stuff. So I'm gonna sell it slash give it away. my silverware drawer. It's totally overflowing right now. I'm just gonna declutter it a little bit and then show you over there what I gave away. It's kind of crazy The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I'd feel so safe in your arms Now you're all I need It wasn't long before this one is my spice cabinet. I honestly keep it really tidy, so don't need to do anything there. Here is my dish towels, aluminum foil, baggy drawer. I really just need to do a little organizing, maybe some decluttering here. These things, they seem chunky, but I love, like I put excess smoothies that we didn't finish in these, or I make my gut healing gummies with gelatin in them. So they're chunky, but they're staying because my kids like the shapes. I'm feeling so much better already just knowing that the excess is finally out. Like I'm getting excited now because I'm feeling the effects already. Let's continue. This is the most obnoxious little corner to put all of our um, like baking things in, but it's all we got. So I'm gonna keep using it with a good attitude. This is a good example here of not wanting to declutter, but doing it anyway. This is an all pan, it's non-stick. I'm gonna be keeping one non-stick and then I'm gonna choose between one of these two. I think I'm gonna choose this one. This is a nice piece of equipment. <laughs> like all clad, really good, got it for my wedding, but I'm gonna give it away because I just have excess. Even if it's nice, I'm still gonna find somebody who can use it. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it here and show you guys because you can kind of see everything. I've got the large soup pan, my nonstick, saucepan, my all clad stainless steel. Yeah, that's stainless steel. Um, my non-toxic non-stick pan, my little saucepan. Then I have two glass bowls and a strainer. Okay, up here we've got my little pantry and this cabinet right here. That's my husband's cabinet for like his food, his protein shakes his obnoxious shaker bottles that he begged me to keep. And then this has like my butter, my oils, my salts. This is my tea cabinet that could definitely use some 
decluttering. All right, last place in my kitchen that I'm going to declutter is under the sink. Honestly, I don't even know if I need to declutter anything because I use it all. We've got my Branch Basics. Somebody dropped this off for me when they helped me clean when I moved back. I'm just keeping it in here, using it up. I'm not gonna throw that away. But I do prefer my Branch Basics because it's non-toxic and it's super clean and so easy. I have a code for you guys below. Sorry about all the codes, but if I use stuff, I will get discount codes for you. <laughs> all you do is fill up some of the solution in here. Like they have a little line for you. So they tell it, tell you and they make it really, really easy. And then you fill the rest up with water. It is the easiest thing. But honestly guys, I don't have anything to declutter in here. Maybe just organize it. That's all. It really feels so good to just know that all of this stuff is going. These are precious bottles. They are not going, but wow, did we declutter a lot today. <sighs> well deserved nap is in my future today. I don't know if you can tell by my hair, but I'm so tired. There's just a lot going on in our life still. I guess that happens in the off season. But I'm done with my decluttering. It feels so much better and I'm ready for a nap. Happy decluttering to you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.